everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a, another story for you, which is called The Lost Valentine, written by Roy Jelinek, illustrated by Carrie Ann Jelinek. But before we get started, subscribe and like for more videos like this. Let's get started. All morning, colored pencils, glue, and crayons have been flying. Mr. Peanuts was hurrying to put on the finishing touches on his beautiful Valentine's Day card for his grand meow and grandpa. He had written out his own Valentine message, signed his card, and even addressed the envelope. I love you. Love you, Grand Kitty, the card read. He was so very pleased with his letter that he gave a big cat grin. Only thing to do now was to put the Valentine letter in the mailbox. Easy as apple pie. But as he starts out the door, he notices the mail truck rumbling up the street. The mail truck! exclaimed. Then he had a brilliant idea. I know, says Mr. Peanuts. Instead of walking to town, I'll drop off the Valentine's letter in the mail truck. As quick as a flash, he jumped out the door and started running after the mail truck. Just then, the mail truck stops and Lee stops. The postman jumps out of the truck to deliver a package, leaving a trunk door open. Now's my chance. I'll just drop my card in the back of the mail truck. In a flash, he jumps aboard the mail truck. Mr. Peanuts looks around inside and sees boxes, packages, and letters stacked everywhere. Suddenly, he gets very confused. But which box do I drop it in? Hmm, he says. He starts sniffing around the packages and letters. Which box goes to Grand Meow's and Grandpa's house? Suddenly, the postman slams the door closed and jumps back into the truck. And he jams on the gas, and just like that, away they go. Mr. Peanuts panics. He is locked inside! Vroom! Oh no, he cries. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. How will I ever get out of here? He tries to jump up to the seat to take a look around, but accidentally knocks down a huge box of letters onto herself. Letters and packages are raining down all over him. His fur is flying. He's now buried in letters and boxes. Poor Mr. Peanuts. What a catastrophe! To make things worse, Mr. Peanuts cannot find the letter anywhere. Oh no, the letter, he exclaims in panic. I must get it back. Then he notices a small package near him. It has a strange yet familiar smell coming from it. What's this, he asks. It smells like the catnip, cries out. He hates catnip. Makes him go bananas. Meow, he says, while his whiskers twitch back and forth. Then he starts to spin and jump around wildly from the catnip. I've got to get out of here now, he exclaims. Then he catches a glimpse of his colorful Valentine's card sticking out of the mess and of his letters and packages. Quite quickly grabs his letter as fast as he can. Just then, the driver stops again for another delivery. He hops out. Mr. Peanuts, having grasped a letter, dives out the open door and runs away. Woo, he said. That was the most unpleasant experience. I wonder where I am. He sniffs around, but nothing smells familiar. He is lost. Then out of the blue, two dogs came running up the street, barking loudly. They're running straight for him. They are coming to get me, he cries. Yikes! Meow! He cries as he dashes away as fast as his paws could run. The dogs chased him up the street until he gets a catastic idea. And not a moment too late, he dives into an alley. He gasps and pants heavily as he hears the dogs run past him still barking. Woo! That was close, he says. He breathes a sigh of relief then pauses for a moment. Wait a moment. He smells a familiar scent. I know that smell, he says. Yes, I know this place, he exclaims. It's Grandma Meow and Grandpa's house. Sure enough, he sees the familiar old house that he loves and knows so well. He rushes to the door and rings the doorbell. And out comes his Grand Meow Mabla, and his Grandpa Harley. Happy Valentine's Day, Grand Meow and Grandpa. 
he says as he gives them the Valentine's card. Happy Valentine's Day, Mr. Peanuts. We love you. They both say. Mr. Peanuts cannot believe his good fortune. Happy Valentine's Day from Mr. Peanuts. Keep adventuring. The end. I hope you enjoyed this small story about Mr. Peanuts. Subscribe and like for more videos like this. Bye, reader friends. Keep on reading.